Hello everybody, YouTube, my amazing autism Facebook page. I've just come back from my autism social group and I had my friend Gemma Mitchell from the Ipswich Star doing a um, interview with people at the group about how far we've come as we're approaching our second birthday next month and it's really gone from strength to strength. We've got quite a lot of people attending the group now and we're really starting to branch out and have new people come along to it and yeah it was really really good it's a good time to open up to Gemma and answer any of her questions that she wanted to ask people and it was good to catch up with some good old friends especially Luke and Colin and David and other people and um, so that went really well and yeah the group is basically a group for adults aged over 18 to come along who are on the spectrum in Ipswich and the Suffolk area who would like to meet new people similar to them and we also have board games and crossword puzzles and we have a snack bar which sells soft drink and chocolate and crisps which are really really nice and we also have theme nights like tonight was um, dance night so we had a lady from the Ipswich School of Dancing do a dance lesson to some people which some people enjoyed and took part in some people chose not to I was one of the ones who chose not to join in I was um, being interviewed by my friend about the autism group and about how far we've come and my own personal um, diagnosis and how I feel three years down the line and yeah three years has gone really really quickly I don't know how time can fly so quickly but I've overcome a lot of personal barriers. I have learned to talk to people in, in a more efficient manner. I've learned to overcome a lot of my confidence issues um, from being hurt in the past. I've learned to make friends with new people and go out and give talks around autism and mental health, which I really enjoy. I'm actually part of a autism partnership board at the local council, which has been going on for quite some time. And I regularly sit and talk to professionals to try and work out an easy way to communicate with people like myself. I've had fantastic support from my friend Sue Bridges, who is the professional lead for learning disabilities and autism at the Norfolk and Suffolk Foundation Trust, as well as having, and foremost, having support from the Autism Diagnostic Service, which Trudy, Fiona, Ria, Colum, and several others that work there have actually been outstanding to me. They've made me feel more like myself and they've helped me overcome a lot of low confidence and emotional moments. And they've really made me believe in myself. So today has been a really good day. I've spent the last three or four days looking after my sister and my nephew as they've been unwell. But now I'm back home and I thought I would do an up to date video um, wearing my new jumper which I brought with my friend Eva on New Year's Day in Felixstowe after spending New Year's Eve with her, which was great. So I spent New Year's Eve in Felixstowe and we went to a lo local lovely little pub, which was great. And yeah, I'm going to carry on campaigning for autism. I'm not going to give up because it's an area that Ipswich still needs to have more acceptance of. And on the 16th of January, I'm giving a talk to the Suffolk Constabulary at Marshalsham. Um, which is going to be a really big challenge and a really big jump from what I'm used to doing but I'm looking forward to it, I'm excited, I'm slightly nervous but the lady who has asked me to do it is a really good friend and a really new friend that I've made recently called Siobhan so if she will be able to listen to this I'm really grateful that you've given me that opportunity to talk to people and yeah so I'm home, I'm back home now as you can see Back home in the warm, I got a taxi to the autism group and taxi home. And yeah, I've had a really, really good, lovely night. And now I'm going to just watch some TV before going to bed. And then tomorrow I'm off to see my best friend. So I thought I'd just update everybody of what I've been up to. And you can expect new videos from me in the next few weeks or so. I'm going to do my next one on sensory issues surrounding autism and how to overcome them and how to help your autistic loved one, autistic friend or family member with um, problems they may face in the community. And I'm also wanting to do one 
around the autism social group a longer more in-depth video but i'll leave it, this video for now and thank you for watching if you like this video please like and subscribe and share again thank you for watching see you all again soon bye